Hey guys, this is Last Humans Tech. What I wanted to do here is just give you another supplemental um, choice for just kind of studying for your CompTIA Server Plus test. This is by no means a course or a training or anything. This is just my own personal notes that I've used to um, every important fact. I'm taking the test very shortly and I've gathered my info from a couple sources here. So first, let me um, go through my quick notes. It's about three pages or so. And then next, I will tell you my a couple sources that I used. And then I'll end with a handful of sample questions and answers just to give you a taste. So they're definitely going to need to know about backups. Make sure you know the difference in incremental and differential. And your raids, all your raids. There's um, a lot of raid questions from what I see and also your SCSI. This is kind of the monotonous stuff where you just have to memorize and speeds and widths so make sure you have your all your SCSI and your RAID stuff pretty much memorized. Go up to buses here, know what different buses do, the front and rear bus or the motherboard. Know the speeds of different USBs and your firewire, there will probably be a question on that. 1394 of course is your firewire do know your file systems and the advantage of NTFS over the old FAT32 and know about access lists, access control lists they implicitly deny, they do not implicitly allow. they are also probably going to be asked about different PCI your PCI Express, your PCI X for example and different speeds for each of your PCI versions do know that the PCIe-X is much older than PCIe. PCIe is the newest one. Of course, AGP is even older. I remember that back in the 90s for our video cards. And ISA shouldn't even really be in this discussion. But it was in a couple of my training um, documents. Make sure you know the basic SATA stuff. And um, universal rack information. I always thought a rack is, a standard rack is 42U, but some of this documentation says it's 40 so there could be a little variation there just um, get a good idea on the exact rack and you must know that 1U is 1.75 inch because they will tell you you have a certain size rack you install a server how many inches are left and you gotta first measure the U's left and multiply it to get the inches that kind of thing there will be some power questions you want your UPS system to ha have 20 percent extra power than the system needs and definitely know your RAM questions a little bit your different DDR, DDR2, DDR3 basically DDR2 is double as fast, DDR3 is quadruple as fast as the original DDRs and know your pins and stuff, it could be a simple question there for virtualization I hadn't actually used this but I guess Windows Server 2008 uses something called Hyper-V that could be a question just remember Hyper-V equals Windows 2008 you'll definitely have a lot of questions on CPU with the multi-core which is kind of our standard which is one physical processor with a lot of cores like we all have these days multi-processor is more than one physical CPU know the difference in your caches your lower level cache L1 is the fastest and also the smallest. Know your your VRM is an important term for your vo voltage regulating your CPU. That they're going to definitely ask about that. And built-in Intel and AMD process virtualization you want to look at. You can probably read some of this or pause the video later if I kind of go too quick. There'll probably be a question on the ZIF socket. That's the old um, CPU where you lift the lever and you don't have to force it into its spot there, it just kind of neatly clicks in. And know the difference between 32-bit CPUs, which are pretty old, and 64-bit CPUs. You want to know your SM, SNMP monitoring tool, which I don't actually use, but there was quite a bit of questions on it, so I have to know that. Memorize your port numbers, your most basic port numbers. You may get thrown a question like that. And finally, some data center optimal questions. Now I did see two different temperatures here for optimal. I think one was 64, one was 72, so just keep that range in mind. Optimal humidity is probably going to be a question. 40 to 60 percent is your optimal humidity. 
Now I'm going to show you a couple sources that I used to do my studying. All right, the first thing I decided to do, or actually buy, was the VTC training. Now this is a Bill Ferguson course, and this is about nine hours of videos. It's not free. I paid, I think, 30 bucks for it or something for a one-month pass, and I can kind of cancel that reoccurring 30 bucks if I want, if I don't want the subscription. Now this course was good. Now at first I thought it was terrible, but it got a lot better. And Let me just describe that real quick. This course was talking all kinds of old, old stuff. It seems, seemed like a 2000 to 2002 course. There was all the talk about Windows 2000 and ISA buses, super old stuff that nobody uses anymore. And no mention of um, PCI Express, no solid state drives, nothing like that. So this is a very old course. However, after I went through all nine hours of this yesterday, I just did a big marathon session. And I then looked at a practice test questions. And surprisingly, a good, good bit of everything in here does pertain to the test and is current. So I do recommend this this test. It was this... um training. I think it, it was worth it. It probably had at least 60 to 70 percent of the stuff you need to know. I'd say probably 20 to 30 percent is obsolete stuff that won't be on the test. But this was a good test to, to use and they referenced the VTC over on CompTIA's site. That's how I heard of this site. Now the second um, training that I chose to get was this Jonathan Lau book from Amazon, the Concise Server Plus Study Guide. Now I saw quite a few poor reviews too and some of the recent ones so I wasn't super confident going in but I just finished that entire course here. It just took me maybe a couple hours to read through everything, two, three hours and I found this one very good. Um, I'm actually very glad I bought this. This was actually free. for some. I just signed up for some I actually downloaded a Kindle app to my iPad. I've never used Kindle. And it said free, like for a week or 30 days, you get a free subscription. So this thing was actually free, as it says over here. And this has a lot of sample questions, too. I do recommend this, for, especially for $5. This did have a lot more current information than that first training that I showed you. Now let's just look at a couple quick practice questions. I can't show you too much, but I'll show you a couple pages of a sample. I'll give you about 10 seconds. That's all I can give you. Now I'll give you 10 seconds of answers. All right, hope you enjoyed this little Server Plus advice and training advice. And I will be taking the test shortly. I do feel pretty confident. I've been working in data centers for about 15 years. But if you have not, you probably want to study this for quite a while. Make sure you got it down. And I hope this gave you some good ideas for your CompTIA Server Plus certification. Thanks. Bye.